This test method is for testing surfaces for the presence of lead. The test method is different for testing wood or testing plaster and drywall. Please use the test method described for each surface type. The methods are described in detail in the instructions that are in your kit. For this test, you will need one or more 3M lead check swabs. 3M lead check swabs can detect lead at the level of 600 parts per million. Note, you will need a separate 3M lead check swab for each area to be directly tested. You will also need a sharp utility knife. You should also have some alcohol wipes on hand to clean the blade of the knife before and after testing each area. This is done to prevent cross-contamination. It is important that each test be conducted in exactly the same manner. Do not squeeze the 3M lead check swab until the area to be tested has been prepared. Once the chemicals inside have been mixed and activated, they remain effective for approximately 90 seconds. This test method is for testing painted wood and metal surfaces for the presence of lead. For wood surfaces like moldings and window frames, use the clean utility knife to cut through the paint layers to the bare substrate. Now you may prepare to activate the 3M lead check swab. Note that there are two separate glass ampules inside each 3M lead check swab and that both must be crushed to activate the reagent liquid. Do not crush these ampules unless the cardboard cover is in place, completely covering both of the glass ampules. Now, activate the 3M lead check swab by firmly squeezing each end at the points marked A and B on the cardboard cover until you can feel and hear the ampules inside being crushed. Shake the tube vigorously for a few moments to be sure that the chemicals inside have mixed. The 3M lead check swab is now activated and ready for use. Squeeze the tube until you see a bit of the reagent liquid soaking down through the fibers of the swab and appearing at the end of the swab tip. Firmly rub the wet tip of the swab across the surface at the point where you cut through the paint layers. Continue to gently squeeze the sides of the tube. Apply only enough pressure to keep the tip wet with the reagent liquid. If lead is present in any of the paint layers, you may see a pink to red reaction on contact. Red means lead. If not, rub the area until color develops, but not longer than 30 seconds. If the swab and surface remain unchanged after 30 seconds, lead has not been detected. If no pink or red color develops, immediately confirm the negative result by squeezing a drop of the 3M lead check reagent liquid onto one of the test confirmation cards. The circle should instantly turn red. Don't forget, red means lead. This test method is for testing painted drywall and plaster surfaces for the presence of lead. Use the clean utility knife, make a nickel-sized half-circle incision at a shallow angle of approximately 5 degrees. You must cut down to the gypsum core or to the bare plaster to ensure you have exposed all the layers of paint on the wall. Once you have cut through all of the paint layers, use the blade of the knife to fold down the semicircular flap so that it forms a pocket. Prepare and activate the lead check test swab exactly as described for wood surface testing. Then, test the drywall or plaster area. Holding the swab above the cut, Allow the 3M lead check reagent to flow into the pocket, making sure that the liquid contacts all layers of paint both in the cut itself and the peeled back flap. Carefully rub the swab around the periphery of the peeled back flap, taking care not to contact the drywall or plaster. Only rub the swab on all layers of paint found on the flap. Do not rub the swab in the pocket. If lead is present, a pink or red color will develop along the edges of the cut, flap, or swab tip, usually within 30 seconds. Red means lead. If the edges of the cut area and the edges of the flap remain unchanged after 30 seconds, lead has not been detected. If no pink or red color develops, immediately confirm the negative result by squeezing a drop of the 3M lead check reagent liquid onto one of the test confirmation cards. Testing some industrial paints requires longer development time. 
make sure to check the area at 30 minutes and again at one hour for red color development. Read the instructions regarding chromate paint in your instruction sheet for more information. Pigments containing lead chromate are rarely found in household paints. 3M lead check swabs do not expire, so when filling out the EPA form, use the lot number shown on the swab in the expiration date field. The lot number can be found on the cardboard cover or on the plastic tube underneath the cardboard cover.